Hey guys, it's me, uh, Robert Waldo, 2413. I'm back doing another video on laminate pouches. I um, had a few more questions about them. So in this video, what I'm going to do is we're going to go over it one more time. Using the laminate pouches from Walmart. You can see here's what they are. What I'm going to do is find the side that has the opening. And then just separate. And you do that, now you've got two sheets so you can use it twice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some more of these wooden coasters. So I'm going to set them up here as close as I can to filling up the area. And then what you're going to do you're going to put the mat side against them. So what I'm going to do is try to make sure I've got space. As much space as I can get, kind of. Because the reason you want space is when you're going to have to separate these after if you're doing something like this. So you're going to have to cut and trim around it so you want to have a little space. So once I got it kind of where I want it, I'm going to grab my Teflon sheet. Row it on top here and press. The time I'm going on these, I'm temp is 400. I'm going about uh, 35 45 seconds. You can go a little bit less when they ran when you run them through a laminator. You're not actually running them that long, um, but I just want to make sure they heat up bond really good, and you don't want to you don't want it to not be bonded well to it. You want it to really kind of soak into it. This heat press, um, it's an old one. It's a night around the edges as you can see how it moves. It's not really the, the best, so that's why I'm going a little bit longer than probably a lot of you would. And they are laminated, as you can see. What I'm going to do is set them aside, let them cool, because I'm going to have to trim them in a second. And now what we're going to do is we're going to run another thing. And this is a piece of glass. We're putting the laminate over top. What you're going to want to make sure is that there is nothing trapped on there. Because anything that's trapped is going to show. This is a mirror piece of glass. Make sure you clean it good. Get it kind of centered. I'm going to throw the Teflon sheet over top of this. This has posts underneath it, so I don't want to put too much pressure and actually crack it in the middle. So just kind of be cautious how you set it on there and the pressure you put. You can do too is once you've got these laminated, you can begin to trim around them. This wood is still kind of warm, so I'm going to give it a few more seconds. And 
And with this glass with the contour, I really don't think it's going to blend over. But we're going to find out. It didn't lay the best. Kind of bubbled it up. So what I'm going to do, let it cool. Uh, <laughs> Gonna try to let it cool. It's extremely hot. I actually just use some little feet pad off. So with these out of the way, I can actually smash it a little bit more now. It is still super hot though. It kind of mutes it, the mirror, it's not as mirrored as it was. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you one more time on these. The coasters. So what you're going to do is just literally trim as close as you can to the edge. Another method that might help you too is get a sharp X-Acto knife. This one is not sharp, so it is not going to cut through like I would like. Uh, get a cutting mat also, don't cut onto the table. can actually have it cut around it there's enough little lip there you can actually kind of slide it around and actually trim around it. So now what we're going to do with this one, I had one more I had to do for that, that coaster. I didn't have four. I thought I, thought I had one done and we dropped it off somewhere else. So what I'm going to do is take the image get it kind of right in the center Little piece of paper down. Drop that in there. Throw a piece on top. And press it. What I'm going to do is finish this one up. And there you go. 
there you have another one done. So I've got them all done. Again, that's how you do the laminate pouches. Like I said, it will work on other things. The glass, what I'm going to do is let it cool. And then we'll actually try to supplement onto that. Um, now that the legs are off, what I'm probably going to do is press a little bit more to try to flatten out. But what I'm going to do is end this right, right here, and then we'll make another video uh, finishing the, the rest of it up. All right, guys, we're back. What we're going to do now is I'm going to sit some paper down, and we're going to actually print that mirror that I did. It is a little hazy on there. It looks kind of this press is actually more than the size of that also so this isn't helping either but it made it look like kind of uh the chrome like as if you had chrome vinyl that's what it kind of looks like we're gonna Press it and see what happens. Making some noise. This is a first test for me also. I mean, I've done other things like the vinyl on the glass, but I've never used this on the glass. So we're going to see how it works. We use it on like painted metals and all that, but never on... Glass. So what I'm going to do also too, is I'm going to let this run a little bit longer when it beeps. Just because I want to make sure it's good and warm. sure it presses because this press like I said it doesn't press evenly so it's the image could be off a little bit it didn't come out the best it's pretty well straight on you see the image perfectly clear the glass is extremely hot this is one of them things you have to look at it straight on as you can see at the angle you don't really see it but straight on everything comes out so it does work um, that line that looks like that, it's an oxygen tank. Um, so there you guys go. It does work on glass. Um, you can see around the edges where it's kind of crinkled, where it didn't lay flat. That's, there, there's a chamfer on this mirror. So it did work on a mirror. And it does work. Hope you guys like this. If you don't mind, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and we'll try to get you guys some more stuff out. Give it a thumbs up also if you don't mind. Thank you. Hey guys, it's me, Waldo2413. I'm back again. Here's a, another quick tutorial. We already went over these once, but we're going over them again. These are the little coasters. I promised uh, Rooster I'd make them a few of the Freddy Krueger ones. So what I did this time is... To make it a little bit easier to make sure it's in the center, I put an outline around it which is bigger than my print so that I won't have that line on the print. But it gives me something to line up. So what I'm going to do is lay it on backwards 
just like that line it up and then what I'm gonna do is throw tape on it now it will be lined up and then what I'm gonna do throw it on there throw a little piece of paper over top of it and we'll let it go well that's doing that I'm gonna line up the other ones and get them ready to go You could do this without heat tape. You don't need it. It just makes it so I can have them ready to go. You could kind of line it up through there. And not have to worry. But this makes it just a little bit easier so that... And there you guys go. You can see it. That's one of them. And we've got a few more. Let me hit that to make that noise stop. Now I gotta figure out, oh, there it is. I put that other one. We're gonna do the same thing. Actually, what I'm gonna do is doesn't matter, I have enough paper, anyways. Set that one there. Throw another piece on top. And let it go. While that one's doing that, we'll get this last one lined up. You don't mind rooster when you get these post a comment underneath let me know you got them and let the people know what they look like because it's hard to see on the film what some of these look like like i said these are actually just made they were leftover round pieces of wood that i had from project we lasered out and again these were done with that process I showed you guys in the earlier video and that process is using laminating pouches you can get them online they're clear you use the one side that comes like the adhesive side you stick that to any object, or hear it for a little while, and then like on these, for instance, I trimmed them off on the wood, and then now I'm just actually using the laminating on it. Or the, the laminated side, all I'm doing is actually using that as what I'm putting my sublimation onto. There you guys can see it again. So what it is, is I literally just had some 
wood blanks that were lasered out on my laser machine. We were doing some things. They're a three and a half inch, so it's actually a nice size coaster. So what I did is I took a laminating pouch, put them on this side here, and then trimmed the edges off so that there's not too much sticking off on it. And then when you do that, that laminating pouch is actually got polyester in it so it's a polyester material and when you do that you can sublimate onto that now you don't have the white background because these are wood but it gives you just a nice little wood contrast you can put photos or images on it and they're into there so that's how it's done And there you guys go. This is again how to use a laminating pouch on an object. And for instance, I made coasters just by using a laminating pouch. The colors come out really good. Like I said, on the wood, you're, you're missing all your white tones. So the image we had didn't have much white tones in it anyways so it doesn't really matter like you I'm losing the white on the front of the bill so when you see that you can see the front of the bill it's gonna be the wood color so you got to kind of look at that and then some of your images you lose some of the color in it but they come out pretty good like I said that's just another way to do this guys is to supplement onto pretty much anything again what I was using is laminating pouches that you get at like Walmart and all you do is you open the pouch up separate it you put the the doll side that's kind of like your adhesive side the gloss side is going to be the other it's kind of frosty but when it's sublimated onto them it will actually turn clear so whatever you put it on um, you can put it on metal plastics anything that can handle the sublimation heat Put it on there, sublimate it, and then trim around the edges to give you a smooth edge. Once you do that, then you sublimate just like it's a normal object. So on these, I was going uh, 400 for 47 seconds, I think it said, or whatever it was. And this is the outcome. Um, if you guys don't mind, hit the thumbs up. If you want to get notified when I do a new video, ring the bell. If you guys don't mind, uh, leave a comment, give a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Waldo2413, peace out.